Hi everyone, welcome back to Study Planet. This video is only for those who want to learn the full concept of the Tata Data Analytics Internship 2025. I am not just making this for submission or output. I am making this for people who truly want to understand every concept because that's what really matters. As I have already posted the task one completion video. If you are only looking for the output, you can go watch that. But this one is different. This is start of a full course covering all four tasks in detail step by step in simple and understandable language because here's the truth when you watch this full series and learn the real meaning behind each task you will be able to explain your internship in just two to three words or short sentence and that's enough for an interviewer any interviewer or professor to know as this person actually did the internship and learned something valuable remember this just explain completing tasks is not a skill understanding is the skill and in today's world being able to understand and explain what you did even for 10 minutes is more powerful than a certificate so if you are serious about learning if you want to apply these concepts in real life or in your career then this video is for you now let's begin with task one exploratory data analysis task we are working with a company called Galerium. Our goal is to help them understand customer risk using data and AI tools. Galerium wants to move from old methods to a more data driven approach. So they hire us for interns. So our job is to check the data set, find if any data is missing or wrong. Use Gen AI tools like ChatGPT, Gemini AI to help us understand the data. Summarize everything so that the company can build better model in the future. This is the whole concept of internship. Now we will explore how to do EDA using Gen AI. Understand how to handle missing data. Identify delinquency risk factors. And even generate synthetic data for better analysis. Now what is EDA? Before we build any prediction model, we need to understand the data. That is called EDA, Exploratory Data Analysis, means we have to explore the data set before we are building any prediction model. In simple words, it means we have to explore data set by looking at the data and finding if anything is missing, seeing if the data makes sense or not and noticing any patterns. For example, if customer who spends more than 80% of their credit limit are likely to miss payment. We identify this pattern and we predict in future based on this if the customer who spends 80% on their credit limit they may be miss the payments in future we identify the risk as like this. This is EDA. Now what is Gen AI, AI and ML? We all know about AI and ML. I will tell you in simple words. AI is the broad field of creating systems that can think, reason or solve problems like humans. If a chatbot can talk like a human, that's AI. It may or may not learn on its own. Machine Learning ML is a subfield of AI where the machine learns from data without being explicitly programmed. It learns based on the past actions and perform predictions. Example, predicting house price based on location like that. You gave it data and it finds patterns and make predictions or decisions. This is called ML. Now, generative AI is the main concept in our internship and most important concept because generative AI is a newer and more creative a part of AI and Gen AI doesn't just analyze, it creates something new using patterns in data. Example, writing a paragraph from a few keywords. If you are give few keywords to generative AI, it will generate realistic paragraph like that and generating a missing values in data set. If you given you given a data set to generative AI, if the, da the data set missing some values, then it gives output as filling that missing values. It is the important point. In this task using Gen AI, we are using Gen AI for three main purposes. Summarizing the data set, Gen AI reads the data set and explains us and what kind of data is there and how many columns and rows are there and what does each column represent and find patterns. It detects 
which values repeat a lot are their outliers and any relationship between columns like that it finds patterns it is a second point and third point suggest fixes for missing data if data is missing genai can suggest filling it using the average means mean median mode method we are using it is called imputation method predict values using other columns and flag it for missing data it is too important it can even generate realistic values using context this is called gen ai reduction to exploratory data analysis we seen this about before slide now steps in eda the eda process usually follows four main steps understand the data set and what features are present are there missing values use gen ai to quickly understand summaries of the data if you didn't understand about your data set just upload your data set into gen ai it gives some summary then you will understand about what features are present in your data set and step 2 identify missing values use imputation technique mean median etc to fill missing data if didn't find accurate uh, missing values then you remove your features if they are too incomplete if you find your data is inconsistent then you remove missing values step 3 explore relationships are income and delinquency are related use ai to find correlations in your data set if there are some features or some fields to find the relation between them is there any relation between them by seeing or using gen ai tools you have to find detect risk patterns look for trends customer who miss one payment may miss more new account holders may be at higher risk gen ai can help us list top risk factors based on the data understanding customer risk factors for delinquency now that you have learned how to ensure data quality and handle missing values the next step is identifying key customer risk factors that influence credit card delinquency delinquency means in finance failing to make payments on time especially on loans or credit cards for example if a person misses their credit card due date they are considered delinquent if the delay continues 30 to 60 or 90 days it can affect their credit score and lead to penalties or collections delinquency equal to late or missed payment on money you borrowed key risk factors for delinquency payment history and credit utilization rate and debit to income ratio and recent credit activities employment and income stability and demographic trends I want to explain this with example past payment history if someone has already missed payments before they are more likely to miss again so we have to be careful and we have to indicate this is a risk and we have to identify this is as a risk using too much credit if they are using almost all their credit limit it shows they might be under financial stress and they may not pay again high debit compared to income they are borrowing high money and more than income it is also may risk they could not pay again job or income not stable people who frequently change job or don't have steady income may miss payments again and again we have to indicate it risk factors these are some risk factors how to leverage synthetic data generation to enhance data sets first of all i want to explain the meaning what if data is missing use synthetic data sometimes the data is not complete in that case we can create synthetic data synthetic data is a fake data generated by ai but it looks like real data it helps us filling missing parts and test models and keep customer data private but we should be careful synthetic data should not create wrong trends always check if it matches real data patterns ethical use when using gen ai or synthetic data it don't create fake patterns and don't add bias and make sure it's fair and safe for real world decisions basic overview of task 1 i hope now you clearly understand why we do eda and how gen ai helps and why handling missing values spotting errors and ensuring data quality are so important even before starting any predictions if you have watched till the end it means you are truly interested in learning the full concept and that's amazing i already posted task 1 submission video if you didn't watch that 
go and watch and by the way if you are interested in learning salesforce i have already posted many helpful videos on my channel i completed a salesforce virtual internship 4 months ago and i have i have explained how to sign up for trial head and how to install sql workbench and tableau setup like this videos if you are planning to get into salesforce or data analytics i highly recommended you check those out and if you want more content like that just comment below i will definitely make it for you thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to study planet i will be posting tasks to very soon thank you for watching